Dear friends, salve Maria. We hear in numerous passages from the Gospels our Lord speaking openly of what will happen to him, his passion, his death, and resurrection. However, until these events came to pass, the apostles never really understood what he was talking about. And why not? Well, maybe it was due to a lack of attention or correspondence on their part. Or perhaps it was simply because they were lacking the gift of understanding. For we hear in the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 24, when the resurrected Lord appeared to the eleven and showed them his hands and feet, it says, He opened their minds to understand the scriptures. In other words, until then, despite living with our Lord, they had only a vague idea of his true identity and mission. But now, after the resurrection, he opened their mind to understand the scriptures. And the same applies to us in relation to the gift of understanding. How many times did it happen that we hear a riddle, and despite hearing it over and over again, we never quite get it? Then sometime later, we hear it again, and all of a sudden it just clicks. It finally makes sense. And this is precisely what happens to us with the gift of understanding in relation to supernatural truths. As Father Francisco Carvajal says in one of the volumes from the collection, In Conversation with God, through the gift of understanding, the faithful come to have a fuller grasp of the truths of faith. The Holy Spirit illumines the mind with the most powerful light and enables us to see more clearly what until then was only dimly seen. To illustrate this, St. Teresa of Avila says it's like an illiterate person who without any education finds themselves in possession of all existing knowledge. Likewise, with the gift of understanding, the soul suddenly finds itself in possession of a wealth of information regarding the mystery of the Most Holy Trinity along with other lofty things. Now, although the mysteries of faith will always remain enveloped in a certain obscurity, the gift of understanding helps us to grasp a deeper meaning of them more than any other means possible. And the same applies to the scriptures, the life of grace, the presence of Christ in the Eucharist, and in each of the sacraments. At the same time, it allows us to contemplate God in the midst of ordinary matters and events in our lives. The way to achieve the fullness of this gift is by both mental and vocal prayer. By placing ourselves in a mystical frame of mind, contemplating the truths of faith, the Holy Spirit comes more readily and easily to us. We can also achieve the fullness of this gift outside of these two forms of prayer by maintaining the presence of God in our lives throughout the day in ways we discussed in the previous video. And this gift is not something extraordinary given only to exceptional people. It is given to all those who want to be faithful to God in the measure they respond to grace, are pure of heart, and desirous of reaching sanctity. So let us turn to Mary, who has the fullness of grace and the gifts of the Holy Spirit, and ask her to help us to never remain halfway on the path that leads to the holiness we are called to attain. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you like this video, press the like button and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos.